G'day and welcome back to Fun with Canva again. In today's tutorial, we're going to have a look at the AI image generator uh, to generate your own. So it's under elements and then go to where it says AI image generator and click on generate your own. Okay, so once you click on that, it will open up this magic media uh, window and it'll go through images, graphics, video. So we're just going to look at images today. So just working through it, you describe your um, image of what you want to create. It gives you a few styles here, photography, digital art, etc, etc. Then uh, you can choose your aspect ratio. Just going to leave it as is for this one. All right, so I've been creating a lot of sort of um, fantasy type art lately in the AI world. So I'm just going to go in here and type in some keywords. So it's important that you just type in keywords and put commas after them. So let's go Mech Warrior. Um, so the Mech Warrior has uh, red and yellow armor. All right, it's um, got a determined look on its face. Okay, it's a uh, burnt background scenery. Um, full <coughs> HD uh, and let's just add photo realistic full stop and let's see what happens so then we come down here to generate and it will go and generate four images or three images or two or one depending on uh, what it's able to find it may come up with errors depending on the uh, various bits and pieces associated with it. So there you can see that it's created four images. So they look pretty good. So we'll click on all four of them and we'll go set images background. These are actually pretty good, I must say. These look better than what I generated the other day. And it's only getting better every time. So that's the that's the basics of it all all right and if I just bring those into there so there are our first four images all right what we can do is also highlight that and we can go copy and here in the notes we can just paste that just so we know what the prompt was that we used and then we can go back here go to elements click on the generator again and it brings it back up so that is actually a pretty damn good image all right of a mech warrior so we're going to add another page here and we're going to go through and change uh, or add a few things all right so maybe what we'll do is change this to black all right and we'll add in here guard armor and we'll just see what happens with that because you can really have some fun with all this sort of stuff all right so we'll allow it to generate other four images it'll think about it think about it think about it and it will bring up another f image there so we'll click on that while we're waiting actually this is pretty damn good seriously that is some good AI there that's very good AI a lot better than the other day I think so you can see that we didn't mention in the AI we didn't we didn't mention um, anything to do with uh, what the helmet was like um, any sort of lights around the eyes or anything like that so it does add in a few things that it thinks will look good so there you can see it's got the scarred armor it's got black all right so 
if we like a particular image, what we can do is we can come over here to the three dots and we can go generate more like this. So if we click generate more like that particular one, it will take that one and it will generate others that um, look like it. So again, we'll just wait for that to generate its images. Okay, and as you can see there, we'll just bring it into the screen, set as background, and that's that's pretty damn good, I must say. That is some really good AI there. Set images background, and set images background. All right, so that's some pretty good AI. So again, we'll just come over here, we'll copy this, We'll go to our notes and we'll paste it in there in notes. All right, click out of that, go to elements, go back to AI generator. All right, so one thing that we're able to do in the Magic Studio is we're able to say click on this image and we can go and edit. All right, and we can come over here to the Magic Studio and go Magic Grab. Once we click on Magic Grab, it will assess this image and determine what it is that we can actually take from the uh, image that we've generated. So it looks like we can grab that one. So we'll click on it, we'll go grab. And what we can do is once it's gone through its thinking process, we can create a new page. We can paste that there. Oh, no, we can't go back so we can copy that first right click and copy and then we can paste and what we can do with this is we can actually start to create our own um, design so we can go over here to elements and we can go um, let's just go uh, dry grass All right, so we can say, click on this one here as an example. We can expand that out. All right, we can come here to background remover. Actually, that one doesn't want to do it. I think it might have been this one I used. Background remover. All right. So we can place that there. Then what we can do is come over here again and go blue sky with clouds. We can put that in there, go to photos. Um, okay, and just expand that out and go uh, layers and send it back. All right, and that's just a pretty basic example of what we can do with the AI that's generated in Canva uh, and the Magic Studio, uh, Magic Grab, I copy and paste it into a design. And yeah, it's, it's like we can just basically create anything with this um, AI side of things. Um, it's just crazy. It really is crazy what you can design. Like it's just a simple um, couple of keywords and before you know it, you're creating some amazing AI and putting in your design. So again, thank you all for watching. I hope you've learned something. I definitely have. Um, this is some of the better AI that I've created over the last couple of days, like I said. So have fun, uh, enjoy, and like I say, have fun with Canva.